So if you're just tuning into the channel, you missed the last episode, where I looked at my first four reviews and figured out and determined what I could have done better. I hope you're not too much in the dark, but if you are, give me a shout. Now before we go into part two, let me get one more thing out of the way. I've decided to once again give my ratings in the form of a number out of 10. So with that in mind, let's go over the scores of all my material. Crash Bandicoot 1's final rating is 7 out of 10. Crash Bandicoot 2's final rating is 8 out of 10. Crash Bandicoot 3's final rating is 7 out of 10. CTR's final rating is 10 out of 10. Crash Bash's final rating is 6 out of 10. Billy and Mandy's final rating is 7 out of 10. Billy and Mandy GBA's final rating is 4 out of 10. Wrath of Cortex's final rating is 1 out of fucking 10. Crash Nitro Kart's final rating is 4 out of 10. My Crash Bandicoot 1 review's final rating is 2 out of 10. My Crash Bandicoot 2 review's final rating is 3 out of 10. My Crash Bandicoot 3 review's final rating is 5 out of 10. And finally, my CTR review's final rating is 6 out of 10. God, that was a mouthful. And now, part two. So when we left, we looked at my CTR review, which means now it's time for Crash Bash. Hey, there's the favorite game thing again. Not to mention this whole intro was taken from the Stimpyland Spyro 2 review. Look. Now, you might not know this, but Spyro the Dragon was my favorite game. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. I went a little overboard with that joke. Now, you may or may not know this, but Crash Team Racing is my favorite game. Okay, 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 I get it. I went a little overboard with that joke. I really need to come up with my own shit. Then I actually look at everything within the game. Except of course for the multiplayer, which I barely touched on. But then again, I have nobody else to play with me other than Oddboy Glitch, so that's kind of a downer. Another mistake here was that I sounded like I wasn't even in the review. Like I was actually reading it. It's never fun when you realize the reviewer is reading the script. Well, now I get into a Did You Know sequence. I gotta say, the segment wasn't that bad. Oh, and I also liked this joke. Why was this a thing? Did Eurocom seriously not look at this and go, Oh shit, the game's too hard, better quit smoking all this weed and fix the difficulty spike? There was something positive from this after all. Having said that, when I reviewed this game, I really sat down and thought about what I could do in this review to make it look better. So, with that being said, my final rating for my Crash Bash review is... 6 out of 10. That seems reasonable. Now time for the review of the game based on my favorite Cartoon Network show ever. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. This was another review where I covered as much as I could. And because not a lot of people talked about this game, I was able to talk about a lot, and make some jokes. I still skipped a few things, but I covered the story, the characters, the gameplay, the controls, and everything else I deemed important and relevant. There was one mistake though, and that was when I called the Mojo Meltdown's Final Smashes. Seriously? One other minor note, this was my last review I made with Movie Maker. I gotta say, not bad. My final rating for my Billy and Mandy review is... 7 out of 10. Okay, now for the GBA version. There wasn't really much to talk about since it was relatively the same thing as the console. Except for only three playable characters, a Simpsons arcade-like story, just as annoying missions, if not worse, and there were two more bosses than the consoles. Regardless, I still had a few things to talk about. My favorite part is when I edited You Spin Me Right Round during the part when Grim spins his scythe. This was my first review that I edited with Cyberlink Power Director 13, which is what I use now. I also used Elgato Game Capture HD to record the gameplay that was being emulated through my homebrew enabled Wii, so you could tell that I learned after my previous review. After that statement, my final rating for my Billy and Mandy GBA review is... 8 out of 10. I say that because there were still a few things I could have done in this review. Now to look at my most recent review, Wrath and CNK. 
Now, in case you couldn't tell, I skipped a whole lot in both of these games. I'm not happy because of that. Yeah, I was kind of rushing this one. But I made the promise to everybody, and I kept it. However, I should have put more time and effort into this review, especially since I looked at two games in one video. Because of that, my final rating for my Wrath and CNK review is... 5 out of 10. Yeah, I don't say 6 because, like I said, I skipped way too much. So, for the next thing I do here on this channel, it's actually going to be for the next Crash Bandicoot game that is coming out in a few days. That's right, Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to the channel. It will definitely help out. Have a great rest of your day. This has been John's Reviews.